Hi, my name is Maureen Watson. I am the Library Media Specialist at Anderson Middle School in the Berkeley School District. This is a presentation for a unit plan designed to teach digital citizenship to middle school students that teach to the Michigan Educational Technology Standards, or METS, that were implemented in 2009. Since the METs were implemented, students have been required to learn them, and I have been responsible for teaching the digital citizenship standards to my students. I'm a non-load-bearing media specialist and rely on teachers to allow me to instruct their classes in collaboration with their research projects. This methodology is somewhat successful, however there are students who do not receive the required instruction and unfortunately there are many students who receive it several times by the time they're in 8th grade. Accounting for each student who receives the digital citizenship instruction as well as collecting data on mastery of content has been a problem. Effective instruction in teaching digital citizenship must be implemented that will account for students who receive instruction and establish mastery in the material. The need is to create an online course that is scheduled, is self-directed, and effective in teaching digital citizenship. In addition, the course must be able to track the students who have taken the course and measure mastery of the course material. Now I'm going to go into Moodle where I've created my unit. This is Anderson. We're at Anderson. And Digital Citizenship is my uh, unit is my course. I'm logging into Moodle. This is our Mo district Moodle site. You're looking at the course that I designed. Uh, instruction will be delivered online in this Moodle platform to 160 sixth grade students. They'll be scheduled to complete the course with their social studies classes. There are seven lessons designed to meet each benchmark for the Digital Citizenship METS standards. Each lesson states the objective of the lesson and ends with a summary of what the students learned. Now I'm going to go through the classes just to give you an overview of what each lesson looks like. Okay, there's the first lesson, lesson one, lesson two. Each lesson uh, follows the nine events of instruction beginning with a forum post to gain the students attention and then the consider post is designed to access prior knowledge. Let's take a look and they all follow this format. The forum post, gain the attention, and they'll click right here in order to post their answer. The consider link accesses prior knowledge. They'll click here to post their answer. Each lesson also has a key vocabulary, which actually is a glossary, and each one of these words in the lesson will show up highlighted in the lesson. Copyright, Creative Commons, Digital Images for this lesson. Okay, content is delivered in the form of a text discussion or a video. In this case, it is a text discussion. And here you'll see those, uh, the key vocabulary or the glossary words are here in this discussion. So the students are expected to read over the discussion. Following that, we'll check for understanding and they'll take a little mini quiz here. And there's the quiz in Moodle which is automatically scored in Moodle for immediate feedback. And then for every lesson, the students are given either a task or a project to complete. And then that assignment is graded by me. And it's pretty much either one point, it's one point for either if you did it or zero points if you did not do it. 
So there's the digital image task. In this case, students are expected to find a copyright free image. They're going to save that image. They're going to write down the source information from that image. They're going to open up PowerPoint, create a one slide PowerPoint, insert that image, and insert the image citation. Uh, they are going to follow these instructions. There is an example given to them also in this lesson four. And if anyone is not sure of how to make a PowerPoint, there's a handout provided for them also. In my experience, sixth graders have used PowerPoint before. And these are the copyright free resources that I expect them to use. Let's go look at that example. Here's the example I posted for the students to look at. The one slide PowerPoint of a hummingbird and the citation. Following each lesson there is a formal assessment and that's the lesson four quiz that they will take and it'll be automatically scored for them. As far as implementation and evaluation, I will implement the first lesson in collaboration with the social studies teacher. After that, the social studies teacher will facilitate lessons two through seven. Um, I expect them to, I, I expect to be able to schedule them about once a week in the media center to finish these lessons. It is an online unit within the Moodle platform is designed to be self-directed after that first lesson. The polls, the quizzes, and most of the assignments are set up to be automatically assessed. The final grade will go to the social studies teacher. I'll finish up with lesson five. Oh, I do want to mention that each lesson may look a little different. I am a novice at um, Moodle and what I found is that when I want to dis when I want the students to go to an outside link, I don't want the Moodle course to be taken over. I want it to pop up as a separate link so that they don't get lost. So that is why I had to set it up to show uh, the text. So when we click into here, I'll show you. It opens another window, and students can watch the video, and they haven't lost their way. Uh, they can click right off it and they're still in their lesson. So that's why I have some of the text showing up when there are outside links. Same thing here, an outside link, an outside link here too. Okay, let me get off and go back to, I do want to discuss briefly the lessons that I've learned. Instructional design is critical for effective teaching. It actually forced me to put thought into each step of the design process. I do believe that I am, I produced an organized, thoughtful, and effective unit of study. It also made me recognize how I can improve my teaching through th more thorough planning. It forced me to teach in an unknown platform which is Moodle, and it exceeded my objectives to mitigate redundancy in my teaching and accounts for students who take the course and it also assess mastery. This slide cites the sources that I used while creating this unit. Most of the lessons were adapted from Common Sense Media and 21 Things for Students. The definitions that I used within Moodle came from dictionary.com. Thank you for watching my uh, overview of my unit and feel free to contact me with comments or questions. My email address is mwatson at berkeleyschools.org.